All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So many of you have been asking for a Glock stippling border video, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. First thing you wanna do is visibly inspect your firearm and in a safe direction, you're gonna go ahead and break it down. All right, so now that we have it broken apart, we're gonna go ahead and close up our box. One of the tools you're gonna need for this project is like a speed square or a ruler and a pencil. So now you're gonna look at your frame and you're gonna try and figure out what pattern like design you wanna do. I recommend using Pinterest to look up designs. I kinda know what I wanna do off the top of my head. So now I'm gonna start drawing the design basically the, the outline border of what I'm trying to do. You wanna make sure your pencil lines are real nice and straight. You're just gonna start working your way around the frame on the border that you're wanting it to design. So now I'm going up. Now I'm gonna work my way across. Now I'm gonna work my way down this curve and then underneath the mag release. All right, so this is what it looks like now that I've got my lines drawn. I like to use pencil because on the black frame, it stands out real well. Here I've got my micro wood chiseling V channel tools. Um, you can get them online, Amazon or some other online places. Basically, it's just a small chisel that creates like a V channel or the shape of a U. Using this tool, now I'm gonna start working my way around the borders, being very careful to follow the pencil line. You just wanna push and find that steady pressure so that you get a steady depth in your gouge. Just nice and slow, keep working the U channel back and forth until it creates a nice clean line. Make sure when you're getting close to the edges there where your line takes a turn, you start slowing down because it's real easy to slip and go past the line and mess up your design. So now I'm gonna work my way up. And then I'm gonna work my way across the top of the frame. Here's another view so you can see. Like I said, you're taking your time and you're just working back and forth, nice and slow, trying to keep that steady pressure. As you get to another corner, again, slow down, be careful. Now I'm gonna work my way under the magazine release. It's hard on the on the rounded parts. On the flat spots, it's pretty easy, but here on the rounded parts, you really gotta take your time and try and keep the same depth in your gouge. So I'm trying to keep this video nice and short, but finish that spot under the magazine well. Now I'm gonna work my way down on this curve over here by the back strap. The curves are the trickiest part because it's hard to keep your V channel tool in the same spot. It wants to fall off to one side or the other. Just nice and slow, work my way down. So it's looking good, we're almost done. I'm gonna touch up this one little spot here in the corner. And this is what it looks like. So I like this tool here. It's a flex cut V channel tool. As you can see, it works real well. That's how I create the clean borders. Here's another view. You can see the border is nice and clean. I gouged one spot, but that's gonna get stippled over. You can see I've got those nice clean lines all around the border. If this video was helpful to you, head over to Amazon, grab one of these flex cut U channel tools. Um, be sure to like this video, send to your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys.